Hello, this is a demonstration of a particle program I've been working on. As you can see, it currently has eight different types of particles. Uh, I'll just show them one by one and tell you about their properties. The first one is rock. I'll just make a little ball shape here. As you can see, it can be used to make floors or walls, that kind of stuff. It doesn't have any dynamics, it just sits there. The second static particle type is wood. It's, um, it has the same properties as rock, it can be used as a floor, except there's one difference, it's flammable. So um, if it comes in contact with fire, it'll burn. I'll show that later. Uh, the next one is sand. As you can see, this is the first real particle type. Uh, you can stack it too high, it'll uh, flow down the hill, but it'll, it'll keep trying to make uh, hills of this angle. Um, the next particle type is sawdust. It's a lot like sand, um, except that it's lighter. You might be able to see that it falls uh, a little slower due to air friction. Um, so yeah, um, but there's one difference, it's flammable. So um, I won't show that yet, well I can, here. This is fire, I'll show the wood too, oh, <laughs> I lighted uh, the sawdust. I'll show the wood too here, see, it burns. So. Um, I'll, I'll just remove some of these. I'm just using my right mouse button here to remove particles. Um, if I throw some sawdust on here and some sand on top of that, and then make some space here. And if I light the sawdust, you can see the sand doesn't uh, catch fire, but the sawdust does. So yeah, that's the difference. Um, I'll show a bit more of the wood burning now I'm at it. You can make uh, uh, fuses out of it. As you can see, sometimes it uh, burns out. I'm still tweaking the um, the parameters on that because it's kind of dependent on frame rate right now, and it's not really good. But uh, usually it works fine. So yeah, um, next one is cement. Um, uh, by default, it acts a lot like sand. Here you can see it's it's uh, it's. Uh, basically sand with a different color, but as soon as it touches a static material like a rock, it'll harden. So here, even um, as, as uh, when it's hardened, the hardened material itself will act as a static material, so it can harden on top of itself, as you can see. So you can make towers with it. I don't currently like these uh, dynamics a lot. As you can see, this part here is not hardened and this part is, because it started out on the hardened part. So yeah, I'm still tweaking those physics, but that's uh, cement currently. Also the color is very much like a uh, rock. I might want to change that. Um, okay, so the next one is acid. It's, uh, this is a really cool one. It basically um, uh, destroys any particle it touches and well, I'll just, I'll just show it here. I'll throw some acid on here and it'll burn through the everything it uh, comes in contact with. It's a very cool way to clear your scene. You can also clear your scene by pressing C, by the way. It's a bit faster. Okay, so the next one is uh, water. I'll just uh, throw some water in here. As you can see, water tries to flow down a lot more than sand. It also tries to get an uh, even level. So yeah, that's really cool about water. You can make like pipes and stuff with it. Yeah, I'll show some. Make a little hose. It'll flow into a container here. If I just make a hole here, I'll just make a separate thing here. Wait, uh, yeah. So yeah, if I throw some water in here, you can see it flows down. Pretty cool. And it's all based on very simple rules, actually. It might look a bit complicated, but it's very simple. So I'll just compare it with sand or say if I wanted the sand to flow that way. You'll see it uh, it'll get stuck here and it'll uh, just fill up the pipe. So yeah, um, also if I throw sand or, or any uh, other particle inside water, you'll see that it um, falls down to the bottom and makes a little stack there. Also, if I throw acid in water, um, then it won't uh, destroy the water. Water is the only thing that's not destroyed by acid, so 
of course as soon as it reaches the bottom it'll just destroy those particles and it'll make a leak so I'll throw some acid here to clean this pipe um, yeah well that's basically it um, the program itself has uh, another feature which is the faucet um, if I press T I toggle the faucet and it's just a uh, constant inflow of the currently selected particle type so right now I have uh, sawdust selected and that's the inflow so I can select anything water it's a good way to see that sawdust is a lot slower than uh, falls a lot slower than sand <coughs> so yeah that's basically it um, I can switch between these particle types with my scroll wheel or um, use the number keys to access them directly so yeah um, the source code is available on my blog I'll just put a link in the description and um, yeah that's it